Um, so what we're hearing right now about these FBI surveillance issues, it's very similar to, to the incident that went on in Hamza's mosque. Um, the FBI actually is, uh, they have a, a field agent's playbook. It's called the Domestic in Investigations and Operations Guide, which explicitly allows this kind of surveillance. So this is all sanctioned. This is all legal. You know, I mean, we would argue that it's not legal, but right now it's on the books. Um, and these are tactics that, that have been going on across, this, across the country. And the FBI has been very reluctant to give, to give publicly any kind of indication about the communities that they're targeting. But what we're hearing anecdotally, anecdotally from communities across the country, from Orange County to Pittsburgh to New York, you have instances where the FBI is going into mosques and other Muslim community organizations and um, surveilling them and sending in informants and sending in individuals to stir up trouble. Um, so this is just one instance, you know, Hamza's situation in Orange County came out recently that the FBI, FBI had sent in an informant who, he was um, an ex-felon and he, you know, the FBI said, go in, you're going to go in undercover, you're going to you're going to just go into the community, you're going to make friends with people in the community, um, and you're going to report back to us. And what ended up happening is this guy would go up and try to stir up trouble. You know? And what's you know, sort of what happened with Hamza's situation, you had the FBI just kind of needs an excuse to go in to a community center. So one guy just stepping foot in the building gives them the authority to go in and do a raid. So this is stuff we're hearing across the country.